Hey everybody, it's a John I driver opportunities nonstop and today we will cover some Bitcoin news and some Dogecoin news. And of course, as you know, we are trending on hashtag Damien Doge. And we're seeing Dogecoin and Bitcoin show a beautiful divergence, which is what you want to see if you want to see Bitcoin and Dogecoin go their separate ways. And currently, that's what they're doing. And I believe our friend Elon Musk is back on the train. So watch this video and get all the deets. The future of finance is going to be increasingly dominated by retail investors with a high risk tolerance placing bets on projects that have value financially, but more importantly, culturally to communities on platforms like Discord and TikTok. Wall Street has been grappling with the risk of meme stocks, a nebulous term used to define stocks and financial products that have been hyped on social media. Dogecoin, yes, Dogecoin, has laid the foundation for this movement nearly a decade ago. The currency, which had almost no utility outside of the subreddit where members tipped each other with Doge whenever they posted something funny or interesting, saw its 24-hour trading volume go from zero on December 13, 2013 to $3.2 million in a month. Now, recently, we are seeing a new movement, starting yesterday, actually, a new hashtag that says, hashtag pay me and dogecoin it is trending on twitter as backers of the meme cryptocurrency dogecoin are tweeting it like crazy you are influencers such as everyone in the world you can think of that is tweeting it out and retweeting it and it's trending currently they are looking to push the price higher <clears throat> meanwhile supporters of apex cryptocurrency bitcoin are attempting to make the same hashtag, but it says, pay me in Bitcoin. It is also trending in the US as well. Cryptocurrencies, particularly Bitcoin, are seeing increased mainstream adoption since late last year. And now we are actually seeing a country, right? Of El Salvador now accepting Bitcoin as a legitimate currency for that country. But of course, there will still be time for them to adopt and educate the people. But you know what? It's on a great path. It was reported in December that NFL player Russell Okung agreed to receive a portion of his salary as Bitcoin, marking the first time a professional athlete in any major U.S. sport will be paid in the Apex cryptocurrency. Yes. The key word being Apex, which means the top cryptocurrency. Earlier this month, San Jose Sharks became the first NHL team to accept cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Ethereum for large payments. Other professional sports teams that already accept Bitcoin for payments include the Dallas Mavericks, and Sacramento Kings of the NBA. And as you know, currently, Bitcoin and Dogecoin are doing phenomenal. Yes, they had a bad week, a bad month, maybe even a bad two months. We saw a nonstop sell-off trend due to all of the FUD. But guess what? Yesterday, we saw a rise. And when you see cryptocurrency rise, it'll rise on a dime and it'll rock it real fast. And yesterday, we saw that. I was very elated. I hope you are too. Go ahead and tap that like button because when you do so, you are helping to spread and grow the Dogecoin community. And of course, do not forget to please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So when I drop these hits, you get notified. Well, I wouldn't say trying. They actually are trading cryptocurrencies and they've been doing it since 2018. Robinhood said it filed confidentially for an initial public offering in March. It had been targeting June for its IPO, but then that plan slipped to July. And the reason why is because of the cryptocurrency in Robinhood. And as you know, there's lots of controversy currently with Robinhood, right? So Robinhood rolled out cryptocurrency trading in 2018. Today, 
its customers can trade cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and of course, Dollar's Coin, which, origi which originated as a joke was about half of the Robinhood users being first time investors. Robinhood often serves as an entry point for novices to virtual currency markets, which can be volatile. And of course, I think Robinhood is a great company, but I know there are plenty of people that hate Robinhood, but you have to understand though, without Robinhood, there would be no zero fee trades. They were the pioneer. And I always say, you have to give credit where credit is due. But of course, like any company there is in the world, Robinhood has also had its negative PR and they have done some bad things to the customers as well, such as limiting trades, a huge, a huge bash on retail traders. Sometimes they say it's due to servers being overloaded, yada, yada, yada. But the point being is that if you're a big company and you're trying to give us a service here, whether it's free for us and you make money on the back end, well, you know what? Make sure the service is reliable, especially during peak trading times because that is when it matters most. Let's go ahead and cover Bitcoin now on the charts. So we are seeing Bitcoin break out of the downward trend right here. And it's coming back up and it went through the Gora reaction ribbon and it came back down. So it's showing some weakness at around um, $35,400. And now we're coming back down here. Now, will Bitcoin come back and test this downward trend line? If it does, it may be around $31,157. So if it gets around there and it bounces off it, then you know what? At least bitcoin is staying above the downward trend line even though it's coming down currently it could be a lot worse so we have to watch this closely and see where it trades in the days and hours to come let's go ahead and cover dogecoin now dogecoin is seeing a different chart here we can see um actually bitcoin and dogecoin showing a divergence but the reason why we are seeing that divergence is due to elon musk throwing out bullish dogecoin tweets and as you know when the man tweets we see rocket moons remember a few months back when we got to eight cents or 8.8 .8 cents there right it was and largely partly due to elon musk throwing out bullish dogecoin tweets and now we're seeing a similar phenomenon unfold right before our eyes so to me this means that we can possibly start a new move up. Yes, we're pulling back down and we came back down below the um, 27.2 um, support or resistance in this case here. And now the key thing here is that we are actually above the Agora reaction ribbon and we're seeing the ribbon actually flat line. So to me, this is actually a very bullish case here. This is telling me that the bulls are finding some momentum and some support at around 24.59. And around there, we can bounce back up and test 27.2 again, which is the all time resistance for some time now, right? And if that can happen, if we can break through there, then you know what? I would say 32 cents is on deck. We just have to wait and see. You can get up to 250 bucks in Bitcoins if you use my link down below for BlockFi. If you want two free stonks courtesy of Webull, all you gotta do is deposit 100 bucks and use my link down below in the description.